It's week 87 of Zur, and I'm going to show you guys his location, the items he's selling, as well as give you guys my recommendations for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it is week 87 of Zur, and I do want to apologize, but I do have to extend the video for the winner. One more video, so the video after this will have the winner of the last contest. So, without further ado, Zur is located on the Traveler, and he is in the hangar in this area right here. So let's go find out what he has this week. Zer! What's up, dude? Check out my moves, man. They're new, kind of ish. So, like always, we're gonna start the left hand side. The weapon of the week is the Colony. It is an exotic grenade launcher. Then we have Young Ahakara Spine for the Hunter, Mask of the Quiet One for the Titan, as well as the Eye of Another World for the Warlock. We are gonna go ahead and start with the Colony. Treasure perk on this is Insectoid Robot Grenades, which fires Insectoid Robot Grenades that chase targets and explode in close proximity. Then we have Linear Compensator, High Velocity Rounds, Serve the Colony, which in uh, Insectoid Robot Grenades quickly repopulate the magazine from reserves while the colony is unequipped. And then we have Composite Stock. Coming down here, it does have a Catalyst as well as two diff oh, three different ornaments. So let's go ahead and look at the ornaments. This is the first one. Looks pretty, uh, pretty nice. This is the second one. And then last but not least, my favorite one, the third one. That looks pretty badass, I will say. So, if you guys do not have this, go ahead and grab it. It's definitely a tier 2 in PvP, but probably maybe a tier 2.5 to even a tier 3 in PvE. It's good against adds, not very good against the boss or any boss fights. So, I definitely would go ahead and use this in PvP if you guys, pretty much almost any game mode, because people hate this thing. Um, if you guys don't know the uh, tier rankings, I will put them in the description box below. That way you guys can check that out. Uh, but yeah, definitely a tier 2 in PvP, but tier 2.5 to tier 3 in PvE. Next is the Young Ahamkara Spine. And trying to perk on this is Dragon uh, Wish Dragon Teeth, which ability damage grants enhanced uh, trip mines. Then we have Fusion Rifle Loader, Hand Cannon Loader, Impact Induction, uh, Sniper Rifle Scavenger, as well as Machine Gun Scavenger. Coming down here, we do have an ornament for it. And this is what the ornament looks like. Not too uh, shabby. So I am actually gonna go ahead and give this a three to 3.5 in PVP, but probably just a three in PVE. The Young Ahamkara Spine is decent, but it was a lot better in Destiny 1 when it gave you two trip mine grenades, and an enhanced trip mine grenade isn't really as good. So, definitely a tier um, three in PVE, but a 3.5 in PVP. Next, we have the Mask of the Quiet One. I'm trying to perk on this is Dreaded for Siege, which gain ability energy when you're damaged, when critical heals on kill. Then we have Fusion Rifle Targeting, Hand Cannon Targeting, Hands On, Sniper Rifle Reserves, as well as Machine Gun Reserves. And this does have an ornament, or is that? I think it does, but I don't have it. Hmm, interesting. So, this is an okay exotic to use um, for your Titan. It definitely is at least a Tier 2 in PvE and PvP, if not a 2.5 at least. Um, so definitely a good uh, exotic to you, so go ahead and pick that up. Next is the Eye of Another World for the Warlock. Trying to perk on this is Cerebral Uplink, which marks priority targets and buffs ability regen. Then we have Fusion Rifle Targeting, Hand Cannon Targeting, 
hands-on, sniper rifle reserves, as well as machine gun reserves. This also has an ornament, and I actually think the ornament looks a lot better than the original. But that's just me, like a little black hole. Now, this is still a good exotic, but definitely within my top 10 exotics to use for a warlock, I do feel that there are better exotics out there. Um, so I'm definitely gonna give this a 2.5 in PVE as well as PVP. Next is your consumables. Five of Swords, go ahead and pick those up, or pick that up for your Nightfall uh, challenge card, as well as your invitations to the Nine. Oh, of the Nine, sorry. Uh, go ahead and do that. And last but not least, we have your Faded Engram, which does give you Forsaken Exotics. If you do not have one of these exotics, go ahead and pick these up first before popping the Faded Engram, because if you do not have one of these, you have a chance to get one of them inside the Faded Engram, for 97 legendary shards versus 29 and 23. So definitely would be a waste if you pop this first instead of getting these if you don't have them. And that my friends brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.